All right, so today we are learning about the inverse property of multiplication. So, let's get started. So, that's horribly scrawled. Too bad. You're going to have to deal with it. Anyway, so let me get down to business. What is this inverse property of multiplication? Well, here's what it is. Say you got the number one. You multiply it by one number. Oh, actually, Actually, I just realized this book is a little bit weird. Cause I'll, I'll explain why this book is weird. So, first off, got one. If you multiply it by b and divide it by b, you get one. That's what it's basically saying. But, I realized that this is true with any number. If you multiply three by b and divide it by b, it equals three. So, example. Let's say b was uh, 4. So 3 times 4 divided by 4. Well, what you got is you got the 4's cancel out and you're left with 3. And actually, you just multiply 3 times 4 is 12. 12 divided by 4 is 3. So there you have it. And the same is true, the same is true if, if b was still 4, but it was 1. So 1 times 4 is 4. Then you divide by 4, and you get 1 again. So there you have it. Uh, very simple. Uh, the book got it wrong, and then it only applies to the number 1. It actually applies to all numbers, not just the number 1. And it doesn't matter what B is either. So, really cool. And that's about it. Uh, we are going to end this lesson now. Thank you for watching.